All right, so first I want to start by saying Kalalali Ahawa, Bashem Yahawashai, Bashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of James Drummondstone and salutation to Yakim Ali pushing the truth in sincerity. Go for the life. Shalom. This is Brother Kanan from James Jamaica. And I just want to do a quick lesson. And this lesson basically is centered around our people basically loving oppression. And I mean, and on screen there is a video and that I'm, I'm about to play which is showing an, a demonstration of what our people are facing as in oppression. You know what I mean? But even though you have people crying out about situation like this and it's not the first, you know what I mean? Them still believe that the system is set up or designed for basically um bet for the betterment. You know what I mean? For basically uplift them or them can make a way in a society. You know what I mean? Not seeing that overall it's just a wicked um setup. And it was never designed for you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And I mean, and even if you so called play football or basketball or your tracks or music and you, know, you still look a chump change, it still doesn't mean that you're still not being oppressed. You know what I mean? You're still under the, under the curses in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, which is the curses upon Israel for disobeying the heavenly father. You know what I mean? No, I'm just gonna play the video. I'm gonna get some scriptures and um, I'm going to some examples, you know what I mean? So for those wondering what's taking place here, this is basically um, vendors in Linstead and Catherine basically um, getting their goods destroyed. And anybody who come from Jamaica or matter of fact, anywhere Israelites dwell, you will see things like this often. And I mean, we are the brothers basically, um, now I'm going to prophesy, we always point out um, it's not because you always have Israelites scattering when the police come in because a lot of street vending basically yeah, take place and it's basically illegal and here yeah, I'm gonna get into the point um, to show you why it's illegal and what is the proper procedure no we're not prop, um, we're not here to push um, disorder or you know what I mean or uproar because people vending on the streets is basically uproar and, um, sorry obstructing um, the flow of society you know what I mean? Because the sidewalk was made for pedestrian, not for vending, which we totally understand. But in a bigger shell, there's no um, marketplace really to accommodate vendors. Or enough vendors where, you know what I mean, people can basically make a living. And secondly, it all goes back to paying tax. You know what I mean? You cannot be making money on the government now make revenue off of your government now get for them peace. Because... It's all an oppressive system and if you have any idea about tax, tax was designed for basically key people oppressed. And I mean, wise kingdoms back then with kings never taxed their people. And I can give an example, King Solomon, which is wisest king of all. King Solomon never taxed Israelites, he taxed um, other nations. And I mean, because how are you going to develop um, your, your, your people? If you are tax them and where this stock these taxes um basically go the master yeah we take taxes to basically pay um make roads and run water and all these things and i mean but the tax a lot um portion of the taxes go back to what paying slave masters and i mean go back to to to, to the owners of slaves back then and i mean and there's articles to prove that you know what i mean so are even not only that to pay debt so the government borrow money from IMF, the World Bank. A lot of your taxes are going back to pay, um, going back to what paying debt. And if, if you know the scriptures, it says that the servant is what. No, the borrower is a servant to the lender. You know what I mean? Meaning, say anybody you are lending money, you are a servant to those persons. You know and I mean, and every Jamaican basically owe debt. I mean, you come, you buy as a slave, and you're serving as a slave. You now I mean, let me play the video some more.
So you hear the, the background um, commentary, crime can't done because majority of people now now go be able to go to the markets. And if they want to say get people off the sidewalks and off the streets, where are you going to put these people? You know what I mean? So obviously, without doing things illegal, they won't have a, um, the ability to feed their family. You know what I mean? So in a matter, they might have to go there. So either they might go do it that way, they, or they might take up guns. So really and truly, crime can be done for true, based on the scenarios. Now, um, earlier I heard, um, speaking of today, basically I heard Minister, I think it's Desmond McKenzie or whoever I want to be. Not sure, because I heard it on a call. You know what I mean? And basically, he thought against this video. He must say, oh, um, the JLP government not really support this type of, um, um, these type of activities and they are for the poor people. You know what I mean? Which... It's just politics because I know something new to society this this is nothing um we are supposed to shock the world but because at this present moment you have people all in the world basically uh protest and riot against all form of injustice and I call out injustice um when them see it you have speeches like what me here earlier on the call. So yeah, example sure these people are, are basically puppets and they are you know, you to basically appease you and still oppress you in the same um, breath. So let me continue to play the video. Welcome, welcome, my new viewers. Alright, let me pause. So it's basically a vlogger um, doing the thing. Now, let me just read a few precepts, right? So this is. Um, Psalm 62, um, let's start from verse 10. It says, Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. It says, If riches um, increase, set not your heart upon them. And the first line says, What? Trust not in oppression. What is oppression? This system is an oppressive system. And I mean, every single setup that this system provides to you is a oppressive system. You know what I mean? Because why am I say that? Because first and foremost, in order for you to make money, you have to pay tax. And that's the new system coming into being. With them because a lot of Jamaicans are making money illegal because you're not paying tax. You know what I mean? And once you're not paying tax, it means you operate an illegal business. You're not registered under... Um, and if you're registered and you're not paying tax, you're still doing things illegal. So there's a lot of criminal out there surviving of illegal activities and think that they are law abiding citizen according to their own mindset. But according to the law of the land, you're basically doing illegal activities. You know what I mean? But because them can't clamp down so hard and everybody one time. Yeah, a few people feel it. So people think that society is in a good stand. But wait until the NIDS enroll are get fully pushed. And wait till no business at all can be um, in operation without um, being registered. And you're going to see how much people are going to dead for hungry, much people are going to uproar, much people are going to fight against the state, yo. Because people look on these injustices at this time and I say, yo, look here. So what do want to do? If we can't do nothing here for survival or for make what we must do, you know what I mean? Which them them system gonna eventually lead to what the RFID chip, which states he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, which this gonna be a deliberate give you the liberty or the freedom or the right to be able to be a part of the system where you can basically operate, buy goods and basically the transaction overall. If you're not with any of um, with the RFID chip coming in a very short time. You're going to be an alien to society and an outcast. And basically, let me say you need for death for hunger because you're not work with the system. You know? you know what I mean? So, let me continue. Alright. So, before me even read the next precept I'm going to have, um, because there's a way out, but when you go on the highways and edges and tell our people that, look, you're the real Israelite and that you have sinned, and the reason why you suffer because you sing against the Heavenly Father and time for it to return. 
and so you can basically heal you as a people and put you back in your rightful land where you're not gonna get oppressed you know what I mean people look on like crazy and I'm gonna show you a video can with this you know what I mean all right so this is this is GMS Kingston Jamaica so we've been out there for quite some time and I'm funny enough this video is speaking about what the push of the NIDS as a national identification system in Jamaica because we're out there what, warning people about this you know what I mean and we tell you that a part of the NIDS is to what make sure that so, um, our transaction is basically being monitored and not only that is also to basically um, keep a track on every um, individual you know what I mean but let me continue watch this video all right All right, so all preachers today will follow once more again. That's what the brother doing. You know what I mean? But look behind the brother. What you see? You see vendors with clothes hanging up. You know what I mean? As we said, this is where we prophesy um, in half a tree um, week in, week out. Currently, we're not out there because of the COVID-19 situation. And you have to be smart in Babylon because you will find anything at all for running for you and try to put uh, a dirt on you. You know what I mean? So we're not out there due to the social, social distancing um stupid them a push but just look people um behind with clothes hanging up now if i look to the side of, of the camp you're gonna see people with chopper or tarpaulin or whatever man call it laying to the floor with goods and it's selling and as the police them drive past or come up as them go them gonna stop everybody pick up them 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 tarpaulin and run with them goods because it's what it's an oppressive system yo you know what i mean them operating illegal so let me just play a few more Look, someone sitting there with our kid, our child, hustling to feed our family. You know what I mean? All right, let me get the next precept, right? I'm going to share the next video again. All right, so this is um, Isaiah 30. And I start from verse 8. It says, No, go write it before them in a table and note it in a book. What book? The Bible, the only Bible, the separate book, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellious people israelites you're a rebellious people you don't want your truth you want your oppress or you want basically your trust now oppression as we were reading earlier you know what i mean it says like it says it says that this are rebellious people lying children children that will not hear the law of the lord right why are you coming at the predicament today and now because we're sin we are come out tight, most are gonna give mercy, but first have to believe and try to walk in our statues them as best as we can. You know what I mean? Alright, second continue. It says, which say to the seers, who are the seers, the burners that we see on the videos, and then that I was on edges all over the world, preaching the same doctrine of Yahbashim or shall return, and they don't fall off Babylon. Right? They don't want to hear said so the system will get destroyed. You know what I mean? But you still say crime, can't stop. Alright, cool. It says, which say to the seers, which is a prophet, see not unto the to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Because we're telling you right things. We're telling that, look, you have a Lord and a Savior, and I'm going to deliver you if you believe in Him. What is wrong about that? No, save yourself. You can't save yourself. You save yourself a long time. But you have to tell people to save themselves. I'm going to continue. It says, Speak unto us smooth things, prophesy the seeds. You want your oh, me go and get blessing plan and all these things. The seeds, it says, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the only one of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus said the only one of Israel, because you despise the word, this word, the Bible, right, and trust in oppression, the system, you know what I mean, and perverseness, and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in the eye wall whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. 
Yes, your collapse is coming real quick. You know what I mean? Because you trust not this way, or my fucker hustle. You trust near your hustle, yo. Well, guess that very soon there won't be no more hustling. It's a register system, and although some people call it one charge, they still a hustle. You know what I mean? In a really works, it's still a different term, different thing. But soon you cannot go there like how you think. You know what I mean? Play our next video. Alright? So this is a quick clip. Alright, so this is the Jamaica Observer. And this is in 2010. Look on this. Search of the views of vendors affected and got these responses. It was strictly against it, you know, because most of the people and my kids to go to school, they're not working, right? And now, like my age people, most of them, they can't work again and they can't employ again. Nobody can employ them. Um, we want them to have work, but we put five and four figures in there right now, but we come for 15 gold in the mail. I was licensed for 29 and a half West Pirate City, and they take over license and don't say nothing to we when we register for 29 and a half West Pirate. What happened to we when the police lock me up and me have a pay a fine like me a criminal? I see them illegal and them take over license. And the market not clean. The condition of the market not clean. And them are collect poor people money at the end of the time. Them are push them over the head, sir. Going to the market. And now we're in the end of the market. Look on them deep and rub it, sir. One in the chest, you know. Send off all Chinese, all Syrian, all of them. And give them a place. Give them a cup. All right, so you see that? They don't tax. And them give the Chinese that will come to Jamaica. Um, right to come and invest them um them them business so them can make money so basically it where you as an israelite or a negro would have basically doing your, your society for make a living different from where the chinese have come here come do them get privileged we can come here come make money off a year back you know what i mean because that's how society um grew it our um white in chinese are develop and grow because they might get privileged to go in enough countries all over the world we can set up shops you know what I mean? Your country be and you in your society you can't even open up a, a one one good store because you don't have the facility and the and the, you don't get that privilege of a do so. You know what I mean? Give us spot we deserve. We need it. Miss fifty nine year old. So them selling me not to go and sell my body at this age. <laughs> right, it sounds crazy, but that's what people are turning to. You know what I mean? A lot of people are turning to, to those type of activities because people have to survive. And if you're oppressing the poor, what did I'm going to do? One did I'm going to revolt against you, young. Let me read the last precept. Now, this is um, Proverbs uh, Proverbs 14 and verse 31. You see that it says, He that oppresseth the poor reproacheth his maker, but he that honoreth him at mercy on the poor. So these men don't honor the most high they don't believe in your bashim your shy they don't even know that there's a god called yahweh and his son name is yahweh shy you know what i mean so them don't honor him so them system is designed for you oppress you people and you people trust in these men because them can go now and five grand election come or you know you might get a privilege one and the other they might go do some they might paint the roadside and you can't get oh one, one, one roast or one contractor coming to Jamaica and they might build on one building and you get a, a work or a fight and they might recycle it out. You people are dumb, yo. you know. But hopefully, uh, finally, you guys are kind are slowly waking up. Some of you wake up to what? Destruction, but some of you wake up to the truth that look, the way out is to Yahabah, Shem Shai. Some of you are going to wake up to fight against these people. That's why you see what? You have people that have go against the force because who uphold the, um, the, the, the policy of the country? The police, the word police go back to what? Policy. The policy makers of the police out there for enforce the law. And that's why you see them out there. Broke up um, um, cards and vendors, I take up vendors items. And a lot of the times, these items get um, taken away. Them get brought back on the street. Them sell them back to other vendors on the street. And there's corruption all around. You know what I mean? Them take away your goods. And go back to the street and sell it to some other vendors with them link with for cheaper and less. So them friends can make a money. So the most I see the sinful society I'm gonna destroy it, you know what I mean? 
But to the people who have eyes to see and ears to ears, wake up yo. Turn back to Yah Bashem Yahushai and seek deliverance. Once more, I want to say, Kala Lal Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors again to the apostles and elders of James Stone and to you, I came out there. Shalom.